So my family is trying to eat healthier. We're trying to make better healthy decisions, make better choices when it comes to our food options. Now, that's not always going to be the case, which is why I like to have some recipes that are on the healthier side, because if you watch my videos and you see my channel, you know that we have a lot of splurge occasions. We have a lot of events where I make appetizers. And so this video actually helps balance that. It helps to add some healthier options, some healthier meals that are also quick and easy. That has to be key as well when it comes to eating healthier. So I have some of those recipes in this video. I'm sharing those with you and I hope you enjoy it and hope you're inspired. All right, love to show you what I've made. Let's get into it. In using up what we have, I had this value pack that was frozen and I've defrosted of these boneless pork sirloin chops. I'm going to take three and put them in a bag with the hoisin sauce I have remaining and they're going to marinate for a few hours. And the remainder pork I just cut into cubes and today's seasonings we're using smoky applewood by Pampered Chef. I had this remainder Cabela's Mountain Man Bourbon seasoning, threw that in there. And then we always love our Cavender, so I just threw that on there for the salt. Mix that all up with some olive oil, nope, avocado oil, and now I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. Into the air fryer for about 10 minutes and you end up with these perfect little pork nuggets. They'd be great to go with any side or to put on a salad for a great lunch. But the main meal we're making is a pork stir fry using my wok that I don't get to use very often. You can of course use a very deep skillet for this. My pork has been marinating and we're gonna add to it baby corn, bok choy, bean sprouts, and these rice noodles. I'm gonna go ahead and get our rice noodles into boiling water. Um, it's getting up to a boil right now in the pot over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there because I feel like these take a long time. On the package it says like five or six minutes, but I've come to know that it takes a lot longer than that for me. I like it to not be uh, so al dente when it comes to these. So I'm gonna put it in the water and we're gonna get it cooked in the boiling water and then we're also gonna cook it in our wok. An alternative to the rice noodles if you're on a low carb keto diet are these Hearts of Palm Angel Hair Pasta Noodles. They will go really good in this dish. You can find these at Walmart. I'm going to add my bean sprouts that have been thoroughly drained and I'm also going to add my baby corn that has been drained as well. garlic so I'm just gonna seep that in the juices down below. Speaking of juices I'm gonna add the marinade to the stir fry to give more flavor and we want that to get to a boil. There we go I see more of a rolling boil that's good. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get my vegetables into the middle more. Yep, that's looking so dynamite. Oh my gosh. Let's add a little bit more. Make sure our ratio is good. Sesame oil for flavor. Oh, and you know what would be good too? Lime juice. But I'm gonna taste it before I do that. That kind of worked out perfect. On um, low here. Those noodles, noodles are definitely cooked. Oh, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and do the other one. Mine juice is perfect. We're gonna sprinkle our cilantro on top. And this is ready to be served. It turned out so perfect, so well balanced. It was a very hearty meal with plenty of leftovers. 
The next easy one dish meal we're making is this Cajun cauliflower rice. We are going to start with onion and green pepper that has been chopped and you can use frozen or fresh. Just stir fry that in some oil. You get your andouille smoked sausage that's already been cooked and slice it on the diagonal and add it to your pan. I'm adding Cajun seasoning that I put together on my own with chili powder, paprika, onion powder, and some cayenne pepper and a little bit of salt. I put a generous amount on because I am now going to add a bag of cauliflower rice that is frozen. And I'm gonna heat that through with some chicken broth to get it all cooked and softened. As there was plenty of sausage and vegetables left, I'm adding another bag of riced cauliflower and I'm also adding my seasoning blend and more chicken broth. The proportions are now balanced and there is plenty to go around. I'm gonna let it cook down for about 10 minutes until it starts to simmer. You see it simmering on the side and now it's ready to serve up. Serve it up in some bowls with some fresh parsley and look how beautiful it turned out. Delicious, family loved it. If you like Rubens, you're gonna love this easy, quick meal that is Reuben in a bowl. We're gonna start with some onion that I thinly slice and add it to some oil, some green cabbage or coleslaw mix. You can add to the pan and saute that. I chopped up some pastrami and now I'm adding a can of sauerkraut that's been thoroughly drained and I'm adding that to my coleslaw mixture until it's heated through. I'm adding my chopped pastrami to the skillet as well, heating that all the way, and then I'm going to shred some Swiss cheese, put that on top and get it all nice and melted. I'm gonna add a little to my top along with some sugar-free Thousand Island dressing, and this turned out perfect. So easy, dinner in 15 minutes, family gobbled it up because we love our Rubens. Our next meal we're making is this tilapia with keeper butter sauce with couscous and broccoli. We're gonna get started with our broccoli that is fresh broccoli that I've chopped. I'm adding avocado oil and my seasonings. This is where you can be creative. I'm just using onion powder and garlic powder and I found this garlic season blend from McCormix. I found that in my cabinet. I'm gonna use that up, but you can use any seasonings. Broccoli is a hearty vegetable that can take on some additional salt and seasoning, so go hearty with it. And I'm gonna add it to my air fryer for about 15 minutes. But what I'm gonna put on there is this tahini dressing I have left. Let me show you how I make it. Tahini dressing is three tablespoons of olive oil or avocado oil, three tablespoons of tahini paste, a squeeze of half a lemon, two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, minced garlic, about a tablespoon, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and then a teaspoon of honey. A quick whisk and that is ready to go on that broccoli. In addition to the tahini dressing, I have these leftover bacon bits that we're gonna add on top as well. So let's get started with our fish. I'm using frozen tilapia that I've defrosted and I have these four fillets left, which is gonna be perfect. There is one that is smaller than the other, so I'm gonna put that in the pan last. It will cook the quickest, so we wanna put that one in last. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my pan with some avocado oil and we are ready to get this going. I'm actually gonna start with our couscous which is gonna take one and one fourth cup of water. I'm gonna make this roasted garlic and olive oil couscous and I'm just following the directions on the box. The reason I wanted some couscous or you could use cauliflower rice if you wanna go a little healthier is because I'm gonna make this great sauce with this tilapia. So I'm pan frying it and that's why I'm pan frying. I'm adding a little bit of salt. Normally I air fry my fish, but because of this sauce, I know I could make the sauce and drizzle it on, but I really want the flavors of this sauce to get in that fish. My water has come up to a boil. I'm adding the couscous and the seasoning packet. It is that easy. You just stir it up, put a lid on it, and it'll finish cooking. Now let's get to our sauce. We're starting with two tablespoons of butter that we're gonna let melt completely. And then I have some fresh herbs, specifically fresh thyme that I'm just getting off the vine and I am putting in my pan. I am gonna make sure that the butter and the thyme get under and all around and coated my fish. And then I'm gonna add some capers. Capers are actually a flower bud from a shrub and they are very briny. They almost have a, like a olive flavor to them. Um, but just a little bit more briny tang. They are the perfect complement to this sauce. And to add some brightness, we're also going to add lemon juice. And I'm going to squeeze with my favorite juicer, I'm going to squeeze a whole lemon, both halves, and I am 
going to end up with probably about two to three tablespoons of lemon juice. My husband would say that's not enough. He always asks me to double or triple the sauce that I make when I make this dish. I did end up with about two tablespoons of those capers in this dish because I was finishing off that jar and we love them. But if you're not sure, just put a couple in or you can omit it altogether. Our broccoli is now done roasting in the air fryer. I'm going to add it to a bowl and then I'm going to add to that those bacon bits and remember our tahini dressing. I'm going to drizzle that over the broccoli and we're going to be ready to serve it. This meal turned out so delicious, especially that lemon butter caper sauce. Remember, if you want to go a little healthier, you can make this with cauliflower rice or any side you choose. I hope you were inspired and thank you as always so much for watching.